Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem B from the latest code forces round 684 problem name sum of medians. So you are given that as you already know what is the median of an array. If you sort all the numbers then the middle number which is actually the seal of n by 2 rounding up of n by 2. So that's the median of those numbers or the like list of numbers. So you are let's say that you are given some numbers in a non decreasing manner. So as you can see in this. So now what your problem is, you are given two integers also, n and k and a non-decreasing array of n and k integers, n into k integers. So as you can see, you are given, so like this is 2 and 4 and 2 into 4 is 8. So you are given 8 numbers in a non-decreasing, which means that they are like increasing uh, and these numbers are given to you in this order and you have to divide all those numbers into k arrays of size n. So you, as you can see, you have to divide them into 4. Uh, sub arrays of size 2 as you can see 2 to 2 such that you have to find out the medians of those like sub arrays you have formed so as you can see like this so you can take any numbers from this but you can only use one number once and form out these like arrays of size like n and the total number of arrays is k and then you have to find out the median of all those arrays and you have to maximize the total sum of those medians and that's the whole question in a very simple manner now, if you draw these test cases, you can easily understand some key points and some like corner cases also. So the first thing which come to my mind is, okay, first see that n is, as you can see, these are the values of n given to you. So now if n is equal to one, so if there is only one, which, mean that, which means that the total number of length or the total length of those step areas is like is equal to one. So you have to take all the elements, obviously. If n is equal to two, then what is the better way as you can see in this because it is two this also two this is two so i'm just reading out the test cases so as you can see this is just 0 and 24 34 and 58 so you just have to take both consecutive numbers and form out a sub array but this logic is not implemented for all the cases further because you cannot just take that if you have a total sub array of length three so just take the first three elements next three elements and next three elements for two it's fine I'll tell you why it is fine because see for two the position of the median is the first position okay so as you can see I want or the actually the question in simple terms is you have to place the maximum number as possible in the position of the medians if you divide or if you let's assume that uh, you have to form four arrays of size four you have to form three sub arrays as you can see you have to form uh, in the test case 3 so you have to form as you can see 3 sub arrays of size 4 let's assume that you have 3 sub arrays of size 4 and now you have to place some elements here and because you know that the 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 so in this problem uh, the numbers are indexing from 1 so it is 1 2 3 4 so what you want is that the median is this number which is the second number now you want that the median should be the maximum number as possible because you want to maximize the total sum okay now what you can easily do here is if you take the first element from the start and the rest of the three numbers from the end then because this will be the maximum number because see if you want the median it should be increasing order okay and if you take as you can see that you know that the second position is the median position okay if you take let's assume that if i take the first two numbers and the last two numbers then the median will be the second number because it will be like the uh, after sorting out it will be 2 4 92 and 95 in this case and thus the median will be 4 but if you take out the first element and the last three elements now the median will be 91 which is a very large number like in compared to 4 so that's the whole trick you have to find out the position of the median and then maximize its value how you can maximize this value you have to find out that like the median position how like as you can see if you know that the median position for four is second so you have to find out okay if i take out three elements three elements is sufficient such that the first element of those three element will be the median and that's the maximum value i can get i have to maximize that value and thus if you find out this interval somehow which is the uh, if you find out that the three is the interval because if you can know the position of median you can easily find out 
like what is the value of this interval if you find out this interval value you can easily just take out that interval values from the end so it is 3 in this question so this is 3 then this is 3 then this is 3 and so on because you just have to take only three elements as you can see this three and this three because if you take this three then this is the maximum value 92 36 and 21 and then you can easily see that these are the values which are actually taken and that's the whole logic for this problem you have to first find out the interval value because you have to maximize the value at the median position and if you find out the interval value which is this interval value you can take that much of values from the from the end because if you take those values in the end because that it is non decreasing then you can easily say that those are the maximum values possible and that's the logic for this problem i'll take it under the code part now to make it more clear so as you can see this is a solve function which is take the input of n and k m is the multiplication of n into like k and that's the size of the elements i have to take input so as you can see i have taken input of all those numbers this is the total because I have to find out the total value of the, the like the sum of the medians. So for n equal to 2, I've already told you. For n equal to 2, there is a simple case in which I have to just take the first elements like this 0, 34, 62, 69 and so on. So I just take the alternative numbers because they are like non-decreasing. So just I don't have to sort them out. We just have to take the every alternative number and that's the answer. But for the next case, what I have to do, we have to find out the interval value. So for finding out the interval value, we have to first find out the median position. The median position is n plus 1 divided by 2, which is the middle element. Then if I know the middle element, I can find out this interval value. So this is the median position. If I subtract the total value, the total length from this median position, I can get this length. But I have to not get this length, but I have to include this also in the answer because this is my interval, including the median value, because I want the median also in this interval. So I have to add one to it. So that's what I'm doing. It's just left. This is, will get you the left side of this part. This is the right side, sorry. And then left plus plus. Okay. So this will give you the interval size. And then what you have to actually do is from the last, you just move from last to the front and take out. So if this is the interval, so if this is the interval, as you can see, let's assume the interval size is three. Then you have to take out every third element from the last. Okay. But you don't have to keep on taking the third element. You have to keep on taking elements only for k subarrays because see, you have to form k subarrays now. So you have to form k subarrays. So you have to take out only for k subarrays. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, this is X. It, this is incrementing such that I can get out, get the like uh, because I want to get out the elements which is of like the left part because I have to find out the first element of this like this survey or this interval so this interval size is left and thus whenever my x become like mod equal to 0 which means that now my interval is completed I can take this number because for every interval of, of size left I have to take the first element and that's what I'm taking taking the first element of this left and for every taking this element I'm incrementing this interval value interval value and when my interval value will become greater than or equal to k I will break out because I have to take out the total number of uh, the total summation so the total summation of the medians will be the total number of sub arrays I have is equal to k and then we break out and that the, the answer is just the total answer I hope you get the intuition of how to solve this problem if you still have not mentioned now thank you for watching this video I'll see you next one keep coding bye